Kanye West. Kanye West champions uh, Adolf Hitler. Divorce from Kim Kardashian. Pays two points. He, he said uh, he caught uh, Chris Powell putting dick on. He caught Chris <laughs> Powell putting dick on. Uh, he, he complained on 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 on, on, on line. Oh, he complained in public about being uh, inadequate compared to. Uh, what is his name, Peter? Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. He said he it's just Kanye is a different type of nigga. Kanye. Man. So okay, is Kanye a win or a loss for the culture right now? He's really neither, and he's really both. Because Kanye is a type of nigga. Kanye and Charleston White is the same nigga. Mm. Egregious, yeah, scandalous. But at the same time, but at the same time, they'll say some shit that have every nigga mad, uh, and then they'll say some shit that have every nigga be like, oh, he a real nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Charleston and Kanye is the same nigga because they both say and do shit. But it's it's real in everything they do. You know what I'm saying? I I don't knock. Am man for his belief or his stance or whatever he feel. You know what I'm saying? Cause even if it's opposite of mine. Because cause one thing I understand about life is life shows all of us different things. It's three niggas in this room and we all could be staring at the same painting, but we could all see something different. I could be like, damn, that bitch got a pretty smile. You'd be like, man, her smile, nigga, her eyes. My nigga nail would be like, no, nah, nigga, her hair. So this is this is the trick that life plays on us all. So it doesn't mean that the next nigga is wrong. Life has just took him down a different path that showed him something that opened his 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 thought process and his way of viewing things up to another lane. And and Kanye, I don't say he's good or bad for the culture. He's just Kanye. Cause he do. do think, but do you think my, Kanye is is my fucking the fans? No. Like, cause Charleston White admits that's what he's doing. Mind fucking. He mind fucking himself. That nigga down, he drunk off of success. And that's, <laughs> and that's the conversation. And he know that that's the conversation. If you think I'm bullshitting, ask Goose the Great. That's the last conversation me and Charleston ever had on the phone. Cause we had a show going on. We done like five episodes. And after that fifth episode, well, we had a conversation afterwards where we dissolved what we had going on, I told him that. So don't think that all oh, that nigga clout that no. That that nigga Green Room TV has posted it, I posted it. That nigga was my fan before I was his fan. So and you know, that's not to knock him because the nigga doing his thing. But at the same time, I don't think that Kanye is my fucking people. I just really think that Kanye is a nigga that that stands Kanye is more in the middle than he even knows. Because very few of us is able to stand in the middle because, like I said, in the black community, you got to either be either or. You got to be this or you got to be that. Very few of us are allowed to stand in the middle and do a full 360 view around us and see everything and present it to our people. Because either you got to be rocking this way. Or you got to be rocking this way. And this way going to say fuck that way. And that way going to say fuck this way. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers in the ghetto are going to always view blacks that made it as successful as sellouts to some degree. And blacks that have been successful are going to always view blacks that didn't, that's still in the ghetto as thugs and criminals. To certain, to a certain degree, because they got to do what they got to do to survive, and the successful black person got to do what they got to do to survive. Dion just took a job with Colorado because he felt like he had to do that to survive with his lineage and with his people, and the further the betterment of his situation internally with his family. Not thinking of the betterment of the black society or what we might think, and you can't hold that against a man. But as a community, we want to look at that and be like, oh, nigga, you sold a lot because you are still trapped in this hip part of the system. But Dion is a nigga that was blessed to climb up out of that situation. So the white man is going to use him 
like a motherfucker. And hopefully he knows that the white man is going to use him. He think, oh, nigga, I done this and I got better. But the white man is like, oh, we going to take this nigga and, you know, because you can always be used to control the rest of these niggas if niggas look up to you. I would say by the way you describe it, Kanye would fit as the perfect nigga for what you're describing. It's that nigga who always had to go with what the white man said and still try to please niggas. I feel like Kanye is the... Yeah, he conflicted. Yeah, I think he's the, the perfect example yeah, he conflicted. for everything. He like conflicted the, because he still want to be of the culture. But he still wants the white man approval. That's a fucked up spot to be in, man. To still want the white man to view you and to hold close to you and still want niggas. Nigga, do you know you being tugged like a motherfucker? Yeah. You being tugged like a motherfucker, man. He wants the white man to love him and he wants niggas to love him at the same time. And that's that's a hard feat, nigga. I, how many niggas do you know the white man just totally loved? Just genuinely, and niggas just loved genuinely. That's hard as fuck, nigga. Because if everybody love you because it's something that they want from you, even nigga, niggas don't want nothing monetarily or physically, but they want the inspiration that you that you bring. The white man gonna want you because what he you could do for his pockets, his bottom line, or what he could use you to do for society. Like, I could use you to control these niggas. Like, he, how he used James Brown. 